Hello, welcome to my new video. In my last video I showed you this new T-Display S3 board. That video is maybe my most popular video and it still gets lots of views. Thank you for your support, nice comments and I would also like to thank everyone who donated a few bucks on my coffee page. Thank you my friends for all the coffees you donated. Your donation helps a lot. I'm very happy because I have many new subscribers. If you one of them, thank you very much. Thank you very much and welcome. I'm uh, still impressed with new T-Display board and this video will be some sort of update to last one. I will inform you what I have learned, what I what I tried and what I made. So here are some sketches and like always code will be in description. Uh, I wanted to test speed, memory and some other features I haven't tried before and this is result. Uh, this is simple internet clock, so we have time, date, the usual stuff for an internet clock. Here I can see uh, frames per second, uh, which is around 24, which is great if we consider that uh, there is lots of work this board is doing right now. In the background uh, we can see this huge full screen animation, this meme cat. And board is connected to the internet all the time. So we can see here is my current IP address. Uh, there is no delay function in code and right now I'm using four different sprites and some of them are transparent like these two I decided to play with the uh, transparency uh, you can see that there is no color under under this under these numbers so you can see animation under and since we have two push buttons this one is connected to pin 0 and then this one is connected to pin 40 both of them are declared as input pull up in code I can use them to move this data left or right so now we can now we can see that this sprite is really transparent. I will return it back. I know this is not useful, but a learning process. I will show you how to use transparent sprites one day, but first I need to practice and play with them more. Code is in the description, you can uh, do with my code whatever you want. Uh, don't forget to change your Wi-Fi data and time zone. If you need help, feel free to ask in the comments. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check the description for more information and links. And here is this counter. You can see that uh, this example runs much faster, around 32 FPS or 33. Because in this example we are not using Wi-Fi, Internet, uh, Calculation, Math or I don't know. Um, transition from one number to another may look slow, but transitioning from, from, for example, from zero to one took five frames. 
So for from zero to um, nine, there is fifty fifty frames. Each fifty frames, next digit will move five frames on next number. If you find usage for this, the code is also in description. I think it looks cool and beautiful. It will it will be useful for something for another clock. I know you think that I am only making clocks. Maybe that's true. So that is all for this week. Next week I'm returning to my work, but I will still try to make one or two videos per. And I also received some new ESP32 base boards that I want to show you. Some of them are really interested with built-in SIM cards, GPS module antennas. Okay, we will see them in in some other videos thank you because you watched watched the whole video don't forget to subscribe if you are new here feel free to leave a comment or a like thank you and have a nice day good bye